Right then, morning guys. Um, just a quick check-in because I've not done a video for um, a little while, mainly because Mike's off work and um, yeah, I'm loading my vehicle while I'm talking to you. Um, yeah, Mike's off work basically and I've been spending all my time relaxing with him. Well, I say relaxing, I find relaxing so stressful. It's hard work, too much sitting around. So today um, I've told him I want to get out, we're going to go do some gardening, I think. Um, I want to get my broccoli and cauliflower started off and some potatoes. But I need to um, put some nutrients into the veg bed again because I've checked on Facebook and got the memory cut up and it's like, oh, it's time to put some nutrients in the veg bed. And like, that was a year ago. Better do it again then. Yeah, so that's another job for today. But um, what I really wanted to talk about was my cannabis use. So, as you know, I've been using cannabis for a long time um, and the amount that I use does vary massively. Um, so I'm prescribed three grams a day of um, THC flour and um, that's what I'm on mostly at the moment the Noidex the um, Shishka Berry works really well for anxiety I've also got a bit of the Althea powdered donuts for night times and the legendary Larry for night times which does actually work for night times for me which makes a change but I also use one hell of a lot of CBD flour and um, hemp tea and where's the this is my nighttime one at the moment, the Canatonic from New Hemp, and I'll put my discount code. I don't know if you get a discount or if I just get money for referring you, but yeah, whatever it is, if you use New Hemp, use my code please, because I'll get I'll get a percentage. <laughs> so um, what was I going to say? Yeah, so what I'm finding is over Christmas, um, I was using, including hemp tea, approximately 10 grams a day. Yeah, I know. Luckily, the hemp tea is like pound a gram. Otherwise, I wouldn't have been able to afford to do it. I'd have been screwed. Um, so, but then, <laughs> and I, I always make co coconut oil using my decarbed flour. Now, the problem I've got at the moment is that I'm not vaping enough and I keep running out of coconut oil. So, we worked it out the other day. I'd smoked, I'd vaped, sorry, an ounce. And, um, I think I'm only going through about two or three grams a day, including the hemp tea. I need to work it out, but I'm really cut back down again massively. It's um, it's quite strange. So, I mean, this video is basically just to point out to people that it's like, oh, I can't afford my cannabis shoes. So I'm having to use two, three grams a day to just remember that as you start to feel better or as time goes on, I don't know. It's like your body doesn't seem to need as much through different periods and yeah i've cut back massively that i've got to try and work out how to make some coconut oil because i've run out again normally i've got loads i've got bags full i mean you've seen how much i end up with and i only made it the other day oh, well it must have been about a week ago but yeah i'm hardly using any weed basically so yeah for all the people that are thinking how am i going to keep affording this how am i going to manage don't panic you might find that you can reduce over time I don't know, it just seems to happen with me. Sometimes I vape loads, sometimes I just don't vape as much. And it's not that I'm in pain from not vaping, I just haven't needed it as much. And I've been falling asleep early on a night. It's been a couple of nights where I've been wanting to go to bed at half nine, and I just said, ah, I'm off to bed, that's it. Can't stay awake no longer. Although last night it was midnight and then I didn't want to get up this morning, but I managed to get up for eight. Just, it's um, right. I think that's easy enough. enough. I sometimes forget about it and you start to smell it and it's decarb and you're like, oh, put the bag on and blow it up. Oh, quick. Oh, no. What have I done? My neck's starting to get stiff. So, yeah, my pain. I should mention my pain. I'm, like, so relaxed. All oh, where it was tight before me and I was tight in my shoulders are still a knot there. There's still bits in my neck, but it's just looser. I don't know if you can tell. It's, it's hard for you to tell from looking at a video. I can tell, but, yeah... It's, um, and I think if Mike hadn't have physically felt the differences, it, it'd have been like, you've lost it in your head a bit, love. But um, the fact that he could feel my muscles were literally, yeah, shake it now halfway through. Yeah, it's good. The fact that my muscles were literally like bone, they were that solid. And they are still in my legs, but my legs are a little bit, I was sat around too much yesterday and I need to exercise my legs a bit and give them a good stretch. But, um, yeah, I'm finding that plenty of stretching, a bit of yoga, and I seem to be getting on top of it all. And I learned, I learned to stop holding my breath. Yeah, that was a thing I was doing and I hadn't realised. 
so I would be sat what I thought was relaxing and then I'd realise that my hips are tightening and I'd start to think about why my hips are tightening oh because you're holding your breath and you're holding your breath in your stomach okay so breathe and your hips can relax again and it's like what is wrong with my head why why do I have to think so hard why do I hold my breath why do I stop breathing it's bizarre so it's um yeah learning all this stuff and I've started Trying to follow this Tai Chi guy on Facebook, which seems to be helping. I don't know, it's um, it's all useful. And I am sharing your videos, I find them useful. Oh my God, my leg is itching, I'm gonna have to get up and move around. Right, time to go and get ready to go to the garden centre, grab some newts for the garden and think about what I can get planted. So they say we're gonna get a cold spell again, but this cold spell has been coming for the last month and it just hasn't made it. And I'm beginning to wonder if they're lying or if they're just, I don't know. Let's wait and see. But um, I've got a greenhouse and I am going to use it. And if stuff doesn't grow and it gets too cold, it doesn't grow and it gets too cold. If it gets too cold and it still grows, then there we go, we've found out. So broccoli, cauliflower, um, sugar snaps. It's probably too early for sugar snaps, but why not give it a try? Spring onions, we've got them in shops, so they must grow somewhere. Um, and potatoes, yeah, five things. Right, shower's finished. He's coming out of the shower. Right, I'm gonna finish my bag. And then plan the day, have a slice of toast, a bit of coffee with me, last bit of coconut oil in. And when I cut how on earth I'm going to make enough coconut oil to keep putting in my coffees without vaping enough. Going to have to decarb again, innit? <laughs> oh well. Have a great day, guys, and I will catch you later. Bye, guys.